e ku dede asiko yi gege be ti mo wa ni ile tv bi pe alara gba idani wa a tun ti gbe nte mo je de o ni bayi e tele mi ka lo nitori pe a ti lo a ti bo a ti gba ajo a ti le atona to ninu foran sele to sele yi ni o awon e je ka koko lowo foran yi na baba wa wo ta gbadu e dada ta ba wa pada de a tesi waju o lori eto ati kila awon alaye to je ka se fura wa lori e o ti ya e ja jo lowo ka jo gbon to sele nbe the publisher of sahara reporters and prominent human rights activist amala yeshuere has said that he has an audio clip in which the Kwara State Commissioner of Police, Ebonluwa Adelisi, made hateful comments about Isheshe activist Adigbala Abdulaziz, a.k.a. Tanya Lorun. The Kwara State Police Commissioner expressed her hatred for Tanya Lorun in a cell phone conversation that I now have. The former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress said this during an interview with the media on Tuesday. Adebola is on trial for allegedly defaming traditional and religious authorities in Kwara State. I am a staunch believer of the freedom of expression, freedom of thought, and freedom of worship. I have followed what was done to Tanya Lorun, and I have concluded that it was kidnapped and taken across state lines to appear before a kangaroo court. The commissioner of police is in bed with those who didn't want him, Tanya Lorun, to fully express himself. And there are plans to prevent the Isheshe worshippers from carrying out their activities in Kwara State. I believe what they did is wrong, and they have no right to charge him for the crimes they claim he committed. Shore also alleged that Adelisi had a personal vendetta against Tanya Lorun. Tanya Lorun should not be arrested and charged before a magistrate court who again adjourns the case for 50 days over a bailable offence that if he even committed any offence, and he did not. Tanya Lerno was just expressing himself. If what he was doing was deemed wrong, it would have been penalised by Facebook where he shared this content. Facebook has community rules. If he broke them, it would have been penalised, but he wasn't. They, the Muslim clerics, capitalised on their relationship with the Kwara State Commissioner of Police, who had expressed a hatred for this particular person, Tanya Lerno, in a cell phone conversation that I now have. They ganged up against him and abducted him from across state line with what they claimed was a warrant of arrest from an upper area court. An upper area court doesn't have jurisdiction across state line. I am not a lawyer, but I know these things because I get frequently arrested by the government. I have asked for the removal of Adelisi as the police commissioner of Kara State. She is not worthy to be a police officer. The CP in the tape with me was very upset. She was part and parcel of the conspiracy to arrest Tanya Lauren from Oya State and bring him to Quara. Another guy made a Facebook post admitting that he lured Tanya Lauren to the spot where he was eventually picked up. There is no chance in hell Tanya Lauren would have got justice in a court that has no jurisdiction to try his case in the first place. They could have gone to Oya State, sue him in a superior court. Defamation is a civil offence. The one they are using that they call the formation of character is what the white people use in suppressing people under colonial rule. This law was struck out by the Court of Appeal in 1983. Dossis Babatunde Balgor, now retired, was part of the panel that struck out that law. So, they are abusing their powers to oppress people who are simply practicing their religion. And this is why I stand with Tanya Lerun and the oppressed in the country. Disclaimer. The information provided by the speaker or presenter on the World TV platform during this broadcast is for general informational purposes only. All information in this broadcast is provided in good faith. However, we make no representation or warranty of any kind, expressed or implied, regarding the accuracy, adequacy, validity, reliability, availability or completeness of the information. The broadcaster of the channel may not and cannot be held accountable for the views, opinions and comments made by callers during this broadcast. World TV is a contemporary Nigerian news and entertainment TV program born from the need to fuse the popular indigenous Yoruba culture into the growing entertainment industry of Nigeria and the rest of the world.